This is the Lenovo 100e Gen 4 Chromebook, and if your school likes to punish you or has just overspent elsewhere, perhaps this is what they're handing out to you to get you through your education. Let's see if that's such a bad thing though with my initial impressions of it. So jokes aside, if you follow me on X, you may have seen my post about this one last week. I paid just 90 pounds, that's about 114 US dollars, for this as a grade A refurb from XS only on eBay in the UK. It's just arrived yesterday and I wanted to give you my first impressions. It's worth noting too, that as I put this video together there are still five available on the same auction. I'll leave the eBay UK item number in the pinned comment. For context the 100e sits at the bottom of Lenovo's education Chromebook lineup. It's non-convertible and non-touchscreen compared to the 300e and 500e that are both of those things. You can check out my video on the 300e third gen and 500e second gen via the links in the video description if you want to get a better idea about what those have to offer and they both have fourth gens out at the moment as well. The unboxing Boxing is pretty standard but the box itself was a little damaged on one side. I think this is probably the only reason it was being sold as a refurb. Aside from the Chromebook it's the usual mix of some paperwork you won't read and the 45 watt USB-C charger. Although it's worth noting a few models come with a 65 watt version. As I finish unboxing the Chromebook it's worth covering the spec of the core internals. This Lenovo 100e 4th gen is based around the MediaTek Companio 520 processor. That's the MT8186. That processor was announced late 2020. 22, so it's relatively new and should offer a significant upgrade in both performance and battery life compared to the previous mid-range MediaTek processors, processors like the MT8183. It also means the Chromebook is running 64-bit Chrome OS and will see Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. That's the AUE date. If you want to learn more about AUE dates and their importance for any Chromebook you may buy, I'll link that in the video description. The model I have also has 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. That's by far the most common configuration for this 4th gen 100e, but there are a few models out there with up to 8GB of RAM and up to 64GB of storage to watch out for. The display is basic, just an HD resolution, and whilst that's not uncommon for 11.6 inch Chromebook displays, it's also TN rather than IPS. So it's a bit more washed out, and as mentioned, it's non-touch for these 100e models. The real strength, quite literally, from this model comes from the rugged build quality. It's finished in this grey colour that Lenovo call graphite grey and it's got this lightly textured top to it. It's a full plastic build designed with these solid feeling bumper edges. Lenovo do use ABS plastic that I have to say does feel tougher than a lot of the plastic their competitors use. Apparently the lid of this Chromebook could withstand up to 60 kg on it. However you can see there's some flex to it but that's quite normal. However it does feel strong overall but I wouldn't want to put their claim to the test. It's also not great to see that with some force you can click the trackpad through the lid when it's closed. Listen carefully, I'll knock the volume right up here. And whilst that's not great, it's by no means exclusive to this Chromebook. That said, due to the design, I can imagine it's still going to deal with falls from tables and knocks in the classroom or home fairly well. Despite the strength, it's also not too heavy, although not the lightest, at 1.19 kg. That's about 2.62 pounds. The screen goes back 180 degrees, or slightly over as you can see here, and you'll find the webcam at the top of it, a basic 720p setup as you may expect. But it does have a privacy slider. The keyboard deck is spill resistant and has anti pry keys as they know there's nothing better kids in class enjoy than trying to vandalise their Chromebook. And the typing experience is actually pretty nice. The keyboard feels solid with medium key travel. It's also good to see, like I saw on the Flex 3i recently, that the keyboard shortcut keys are now including the microphone mute button. Just a nice practical touch. And the trackpad you can see is also a good size for the device and feels equally well built with a good click to it. The speakers are found on the bottom of the Chromebook and from my brief use so far they seem okay. You can also see the drain hole for that spill resistant keyboard I mentioned. I've also tried out the 100e at my desk with my pluggable dock and unfortunately it doesn't support two external monitors with extended displays. That was a bit disappointing. It did however drive one of the monitors as a second screen when using its own screen alongside it. Connectivity wise it's kept pretty simple with USB-C for power data and display out on the left hand side along with a full size USB-A 3.2 port and a headset audio port. Over on the right hand side you've got a second full size USB-A 3.2 port, an HDMI version 1.4b port and a Kensington Nano security slot. I guess some schools need to lock these down. It's worth noting there's no micro SD card slot and no second USB-C port which would have been nice to see for charging on either side of your desk. 
It's also got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 compatibility, and there's just one model that offers eSIM connectivity too. So far from my brief use, performance has seemed pretty good, boot up seems really nice and quick, and with a bit of light gaming and general use, there's been no issue at all. But one thing that's really impressing me is the slow drain of the battery so far. The claims may be overestimating it, but it's a really good sign. By the way, there were zero battery cycles on this to start with, so I'm fairly certain the refurb status was just down to that damaged box. Let me know if you want to see a full review and in the meantime please do like consider subscribing and if you'd like to check out another video from the channel how about this one on screen now